talent model, why we think this is going to be a lot more fun to monkey around with your class and say, you know, I'm a little bored of my current talents, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Shaman. So Frozen Power is the existing uh, Frost Shock Roots. One of the nice things about this new talent model, too, is we can get rid of, currently we have a lot of these little junky bits at the beginning of talents that say, oh, it also does this other thing because you probably don't have Frost Shock yet because it's a higher level spell. We can get rid of all of that and just kind of simplify and clean up the talents. Um, Earth Grab Totem I mentioned before, it's a big AE root totem, and Repulsion Totem, which keeps targets from getting close to you. Level 30 is about survival, uh, survivability, survival. Um, the existing Nature's Guardian, which increases your health when you get hurt. Stone Bulwark is a new totem that you, you drop down to put a shield on you. Remember, there's no um, buff totems anymore, so you can choose which earth totem you want to have out here. And then Astral Shift will actually, like, take you into another phase so that you take less damage while you're there. All right, let me explain improved Ghost Wolf here. We went ahead and gave the instant Ghost Wolf to every Shaman. And then flipped it around, so if you want the Freedom Wolf, you take the Talent along with the Instant Wolf. Um, Wind Walk will uh, grant all your, your group immunity to movement impairing effects while it's out. And then the um, Tranquil Mind Totem is, is kind of the same effect as Aura Mastery. In this case, rather than reducing pushback, it makes you immune to interruption and silence while it's up. Level 60 is a healing tier. We have a new Healing Tide Totem, which kind of imagine a little tranquility for the, for the Shaman. Ancestral Guidance um, has a chance of copying a heal to a, another target. Or when you deal damage or heal, you can get a heal on another target. And then Fortifying Waters offers a little bit of damage reduction for healing rain. Level 75 is about um, burst for the most part. The key part of Elemental Mastery, don't worry so much about the activating um, the next Lightning Bolt or whatever. It's pretty much a um, self-bloodlust in addition to the normal one you have. Or heroism, if you're alliance. Um, Nature Swiftness is the activated version to give you a fast spell. It has a little bit of passive haste as well. And then Echo the Elements, you can kind of imagine this as your own personal Dragon Wrath. It has a chance to clone a spell that, that does the same thing. Level 90 is what we call a high concept tier. These are all about doing crazy things to your totems. So, Elemental Harmony lets you have multiple totems of the same kind. So if you want three Earth totems out at the same time, take Elemental Harmony. Totemic Restoration, if you replace or destroy a, a totem, it eats into its cooldown. So, say you drop um, one of your, you know, your uh, raid cooldown totems, then you see someone else puts down Powered Barrier, you quickly pull that totem back up and drop another totem, and then your um, Brolwark totem or whatever will be available again pretty quickly. And then finally, Totemic Projection lets you move your totems, but the coolest thing about this is you're not just moving them to you, you can decide, I'm going to take these totems and throw them over there and put them there instead. So I I love this tier because it's three super powerful things and they're all going to feel really exciting and you can kind of decide which one you want and mix them up over time.